KJ Jefferson against the Ole Miss defense. Let's go ahead and get right into it. And the Ole Miss defense is a defense I think is improved from last year. I'm not saying there's some world world beaters by any means, and, and statistically it's in the lower half of the SEC and, and pass defense. But I do think they're improved. They did look good against Louisville and Tulane, and then when you go up against Alabama, you know they go. 42 points, but I still think they're an improved defense. But let's talk about what you're going to get from that Ole Miss defense. It's going to be kind of similar to Arkansas's defense, actually. They're going to be dropping seven to eight a lot of times. They're going to be forcing you to, to hit some underneath throws, and those, their coverages are different than Arkansas's, but the I, I think kind of the method behind it is similar. They want you to hit stuff in front, they, they want you to get bored, and they want you to take a shot deep, and that's when they kind of um, will... will, will that's when they want the turnovers, right? Now, they only have two interceptions so far this year. Uh, they're giving up 216 yards through the air, uh, but that's okay for them. They don't they, they don't mind you moving the ball between the 20s, right, and selling field goals or having a mistake. So if you're the Arkansas offense, uh, my takeaway is uh, that's fine. Let, let's bore the defense. So as opposed to the defense wanting the quarterback to get bored and take a shot deep, I'm going to want to bore the defense and have them creep up some. So I'm going to take some shots in the flats. I'm going to take what the defense gives me. I'm going to hit the ball. I'm going to give the ball to my guys out of the backfield, my tight ends, uh, just some quick stuff, keeping keeping the ball in front of the defense. And I want to bore the defense, have the defense creep up on me, and that's when I take my shot. So takeaways from KJ Jefferson, uh, quickly what I think, he needs to do against this Ole Miss defense and to get the Arkansas offense to, just to kind of bounce back from uh, the game against Georgia is they don't need to come out and try to just throw haymakers right off the bat. Ole Miss is going to give you yards. I'm taking the yards. So find the uh, uh, hit, hit the flats. You're going to see uh, the clips you're about to watch. Hit the flats. Uh, that's that's the, the space that is in the Ole Miss defense. It's not necessarily in the back uh, or the back end because they're dropping seven or eight guys hitting the flats, throwing the ball where the defense is defense is not, and don't get into third and longs. You'll see some of the Bama clips and even uh, the clips we're going to watch from Arkansas's game against Ole Miss last year. Whenever they got some pressure, when they brought pressure, it was usually kind of more of a third and long situation. So it sounds cliche and it sounds simple, but football is not rocket science, right? It, it is. Uh, it can be. You can simplify things. Win first and second downs, make third downs a lot easier, uh, and then try to bait the defense into creeping up uh, and, and resist um, the defense baiting you into throwing balls that aren't there. Now, listen, if 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 a if a um, what am I trying to say? If a look calls for you to throw up deep and early, do it right, but don't force it. So let's go ahead and watch the, the – uh, we're going to watch a few clips of Arkansas and Ole Miss from 2020 to see what they did back then. And then we're going to watch a few clips of Ole Miss against Bama from last week. And you'll see there's some similarities. Now, I expect them to be differences this year. But I think the overall theme is the same. They want the quarterback to get bored and then uh, have some mistakes. So let's go ahead and dive into it. But before we do, I just want to encourage all to consider subscribing to the channel if you like any quarterback-related content. Let's get into it. So here's the opening look uh, of the opening play from uh, Ole Miss, Arkansas in 2020. I just want to show this play just so you can kind of get an idea of what kind of their, what you can basically see from Ole Miss. So it's going to be uh, like we like, like you're going to see against Alabama, the clip against Alabama that we're going to watch. It's basically a, a, a some type of version of a cover three. Uh, we're going to get third here, third here, and he's going third here. Even though it looks like press man, pre pre snap look. You'll see a lot of times uh, Ole Miss will have one corner pressed, one corner off, um, and that kind of tells us which corner is bailing and what corner is kind of staying underneath zone. So we'll see pre-snap here. Looks like one thing. And we see zone here, third, 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 and then uh, this play just ends up being like a little dump off here. Uh, but I do think we'll see the tight ends get out in the flats here and some kind of creative plays from Kendall Browse. But the, but this one to show this clip first so you can see – what a what their basic look is. It's a basic kind of cover three. I shouldn't say basic cover three, but a lot of times they end up in cover three, even though sometimes they show one thing pre-snap. So we're going to get a cover three look here again, uh, one up top safety, uh, even though uh, you got off man and then boundary side, we got, uh, not off man, I'm sorry, we got off coverage here, and then we got boundary side, looks like it's press, uh, and but we're going to see the snap of the ball at the top corner bails, right? Uh, and so this is another example of a cover three scheme here, but here's I want to look at the actual play because I think this is a great way to beat this 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 off um, uh, this off defense, this soft defense, if you will. And finding creative ways to get Burks the ball is never a bad thing, right? So uh, if we look at this here, and we're going to see Bama do something similar, you you want to throw the ball with defenders not. So if you know we got cover three, if you know what the defense is doing, then why wouldn't you? Boom, throw to where the defense is not going to be. Get a block here and leave Burks one-on-one -on -one with this soft cut, with this soft corner here. 
I don't mean like physically, just like defend, just like the scheme wise, he was soft. That's one on one. They'll take that matchup any day of the week, right? So get the ball out quick uh, to Burks and some of the other playmakers. And, and, and I think against this soft zone, uh, this soft coverage, because uh, then eventually you want Ole Miss to start creeping up a little bit. That's when you can take your deep shots. It's going to be hard to take a deep shot when they're dropping eight guys, as Arkansas fans know, just because their defense is very similar. Let's watch from this angle here. They caught him in a blitz too. Good block, one on one, no shot. Uh, so getting Burks the ball out in, 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 in that type of zone, getting your other playmakers the ball out in that type of zone, I think could be a good way to get Ole Miss to start creeping up a bit, and then that's when you take your deep shot. So we are again going to see cover three here. Uh, just watch the corner safety and watch one of these corners. We'll, we'll, we'll watch this play twice, but you'll see snap the ball. We do have soft coverage again, right? Ole Miss decides to bring one extra guy. Good job by Franks there getting the ball. So another just another example of how they are probably going to attack this soft coverage and soft zone, something we saw Alabama do. Throw it to other defenders or not. If you know what they're going to be playing, that's great. You have an advantage. Throw it to the defenders or not. Your blocks are set up here. Get the ball to your tight end. Get your ball to your running backs out of the backfield. I think there's going to be some really creative things that Arkansas's offense can do with Jefferson, getting the ball out quick. Again, not pushing it downfield if, if they're going to be dropping so many guys. I hear they decided to bring pressure. Boom and boom. And I did plan the run here. That's easy, right? Right there. I, I keep doing those type of short plays until, like we talked in the last clip, until Ole Miss is forced to get brought up a bit more towards line of scrimmage. That's when you take your deep shot. So the last clip we'll watch uh, against Arkansas. And this is Ole Miss's defense ran to perfection. This is exactly what they want to do. So this is a third and six here. We're going to see they drop three. Have a kind of a delayed blitz, but you got a spy here on on a uh, uh, Franks, and so you know there's probably going to be a spy on Jefferson here. We got more of a straight cover two here, but they're still off and they're dropping um, seven ish guys right here. So it's really what seven on four guys running because the back stays in. So you got one guy taking the back, one guy taking the quarterback, and then we got. Boom, just like shell defense here with some, look, probably looks, looks more like a cover two man under here. But still, they're, they're trying to force the quarterback into making a bad decision, trying to keep everything in front. You see there's nothing there, nothing there. Felipe Franks has to take off, doesn't get the first down. Uh, so that's essentially what Ole Miss's defense is going to want, to want to do to Jefferson or make him force a bad throw. Uh, but like I said, don't get in like these third and, you know, I know it's third and six, but don't get in those longer situations. Then you have a uh, you have more options in your playbook um, in different plays to call, but good job of Ole Miss's defense there. So I just wanted to show a clip of what uh, the, a successful uh, look looks like against Ole Miss's defense. So this clip will look very familiar of what we just watched uh, at the uh, with the Arkansas clip of 2020, and we're going to see thirds, thirds, and thirds. Right. So this corner, that's like a lot of the clips we just watched, about five yards off the ball clearly looking towards the quarterback and you're going to see him drop back to his thirds and then this play is going to be very similar to what Arkansas runs actually uh, usually they'll use a tight end to slip out here but we're going to see a little zone read QB keeps it and dumps it off to the receiver uh, to the running back out of the backfield a lot of times Arkansas will use that tight end to slip out of the backfield so this is something you could see to attack it's kind of that soft covers are given at least to this side of the field the, the more boundary side of the field and still the potential to run gets the uh, players in the box out of alignment. So we're going to watch this. Again, this is something similar that Arkansas does run, right? So it gets these guys out of alignment here. You already got blockers going on here. This guy doesn't matter. And then Bryce Young can just dump it out to the running back. Gets up field. Decent little gain there. I think gets a first down, yeah. Uh, so this is something you could see, something I would expect Arkansas to do to attack some of that soft coverage that almost could potentially be having again. So just like the clips we saw of Arkansas, we have uh, a soft kind of shell coverage look here from uh, Ole Miss defense here. We're going to see them drop eight, only bring three. Uh, Young does a good job in the pocket hitting a guy here. So receivers sit, getting open, sitting in the pockets, and KJ Jefferson being patient and not forcing anything. That's exactly what Ole Miss's defense wants Jefferson to do. Uh, this would also be for Arkansas a run look here because we got six in the box. We got six blockers here, especially if you run to more of their um, uh, weak side here. And this could potentially be a run look for Arkansas. Also, what I like what Bama did and what Arkansas do, does do as well is some pre-snap uh, pre uh, pre motion, uh, getting their guys in motion. I think that could throw off 
Ole Miss's defense and caused a bit of confusion, especially because they dropped so many guys a lot of times. So we're going to see it's good job by Young stepping in the pocket, finding a receiver here. So uh, receivers rise, sit down in the pocket. But I think doing some stuff pre-snap could throw off Ole Miss's defense. Um, but the, that that soft zone, just don't force it. Take what the defense gives you in these situations. And uh, I think Arkansas's offense will be able to sustain drives. So here's a third and eight for uh, Ole Miss's defense. And we're going to see them actually bring five here. So a lot of times we'll see them bring three and drop eight. But whenever it's a passing down, third and long, uh, that's when they have decided, at least here uh, against Bama, to bring pressure. So takeaways here for KJ Jefferson, the Arkansas offense, and it sounds simple, and it is, uh, avoid these situations, right? Get good positive yards on first and second down, so it's third and manageable. Uh, very simple and cliche, but hey, football is not rocket science, right? Be successful on first and second down. So third and eight, we're going to see pressure. They pick up, they do a good job picking up the blitz and stuff, uh, but pressure still gets there takes a hit, and then throws an incomplete pass downfield here. So we weren't able to see the safeties in that due to the the, the broadcast footage. Uh, but the takeaway here is knowing when it's not third and short, they're probably going to be bringing some pressure here. Uh, so just being aware of that and knowing how to attack it. So again, the takeaways for KJ Jefferson, I'm taking the flats. I'm taking the space the defense is giving me. They're going to be dropping that kind of cover three a lot. They're going to have that shell look, right? They're going to give you space. They're going to give you, um, they're going to give you some yards. I'm taking the yards, and I'm going to try to use – I don't even know if reverse psychology is, is the right term to, 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 to use here, but the defense wants the, wants the quarterback to get bored and make a mistake. Well, I'm going to uh, take that bait, essentially, and try to get the defense bored because I'm taking these short stuff, try to get them to creep up and take the shot. But that's what I got on the game. That's what I got from KJ Jefferson. I wonder from you, what do you think Jefferson needs to do against Ole Miss's defense? What do you think Arkansas's offense needs to do overall? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video.